Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all okay. Um, so I'm going to talk about multi 3060s. Uh, we'll try and build a rig with two 3060s on this motherboard, and I'm going to fit my other 1660 and AMD cards onto it as well. Um, so I managed to get this card uh, actually a couple of weeks ago. Um, haven't done any unboxing on this. Uh, Ace is tough. And then yesterday I managed to get a Zotac uh, Twin Edge OC version. I believe only the OC version works. Okay, so if you guys do manage to get one, make sure you get the OC. Um, I'm going to be using for this second hand. Uh, you can't really see it on the on the screen. Um, Ryzen 5 first generation, I believe. Uh, 1400 um, x40 gaming plus max this one has uh, it has three PCI e uh, 16 I believe but once you plug two in it becomes uh, eight speed times eight um, what else do I need I'll need two of these these are x16 cables PCI -E. and also as you know HDMI dummy plugs which I'll be using as well so just a really quick unboxing of this uh, Zotac uh, haven't opened it before usual same as the 3080 comes with this no extension uh, P Eight, eight pin, six pin. I'm not sure what this takes actually. There you go. Zotac. No guard, which is fine, I guess. Uh, one eight pin. Yeah, back. No protective covering. As I said. X40 Gaming Plus Max. Um, so, expansion slots, page 14. There you go. Well, I'm not sure whether you can read that. Uh, basically, the first one is X16 or X8, and 2, 3 is uh, times 1, and 4 is X8. So, with the, if according to this, if we put a first, second, or third generation Ryzen in, number 1 will be uh, X16, number 2 will be uh, X8. Actually, that will convert to uh, X8 as well. Right, finally built. Uh, well, sort of built. Um, so at the moment, because I can't put the HDMI cable into my Radeon, because the HDMI is up here, and the rest are display ports. I don't have a cable for display port at the moment, so I'm plugging the monitor's HDMI into the Asus uh, Turf 3060 and then uh, because of this beta rig I can't actually put the twin 3060 on top because there's nothing to support it so it's actually on PCIe number 4 I think so there's two one, one speeds here one two and then this one and then this one the, the first one the first PCIe slot I used a cable so let's see how it goes. So there's a dummy plug in this one and a real HDMI cable into this one. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if it works. I hope I put this switch in the correct way. Nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah, well, switching the power on would help, wouldn't it? 
There we go. So, is there any lights? Yeah, it's moving. Right, so with this X470 Gaming Plus, since I have. Let's have a look. Maybe I'll try this one. There you go. Uh, so PCIe number one slot, Gen 3 is running at 8. And number four slot is also running at 8. So it's good. Um, right, so then the first thing I should do apparently is update the BIOS of the motherboard. So the X47, well, 407, the X470 uh, Gaming Plus BIOS uh, drivers. I guess I should do all this actually. Uh, so, anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so. For this MSI X70, so for this MSI, uh, you have to enter apparently some mflash, so which we did. Uh, I've copied, I've downloaded the new BIOS, uh, which is February 2021. Uh, so it's this one, and apparently, oh, you can see it here. So, current one is build date. 2020 in November and a new one is March actually so select that are you sure yes uh, 47 uh, 470.05 0.05 these are all stock settings okay so just started it uh, still need to download a new version we have GPU 0 is Asus and GPU 1 is a Zoltec the new one so both of them are doing 41.7 absolutely no <coughs> settings let's have a look um, the Zoltec is running a bit warmer, 10 degrees warmer actually. Both are doing about the same power. I was running minus 202, uh, 12.53, power was 68. So straight away, we know this works because otherwise, I think the limiter hash rate is about 20, 20 to 25. So we know straight away that this works. So I've got uh, one dummy plugin to this to the Zoltac and a real HDMI powering this monitor on the Asus. Uh, so actually, it's applied for both. Both of them are at the same setting. So both of them are running at 49.1 megahertz. 10 degrees difference for the Zotac. Uh, power usage is the same. Yeah. So I think those of you who are, who have access to a choice of 3060s probably the three fan asus is the better one to go for uh the twin fan which is zoltec is fine it works great um you can actually i think red panda mining he actually pushed it up to about 51 but his uh memory clock was quite high and his power usage as well but this i think is okay uh, let me have a look at GPU 0 which is the ASUS uh, so GPU temp is 42 which corresponds to this 
and the hot spot which I'm assuming is the junction temp it's around 53 uh, the other one 53 and 63 64 now thanks guys for watching uh, if you think the video is useful uh, please share any comments and give me a like if you can and subscribe Thank you.